Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys and you guys already know i'm going to start with tesla today which is up 4.81 percent and you guys saw it on my thumbnail massive breakout here on tesla now we've been talking about it in my channel that tesla here guys is wedging right here and then tesla gets over 183 and there was some consolidation right here and finally today and I said that before in my video over 183, this thing can go up to 200. And I think we almost got that today. Almost 198 high for the day and then closing at 196.37. So Tesla definitely delivered on that promise that I made on my channel over 183, almost hitting 200 today. Now this is not it. You can see this Bollinger Band here on top now going up expanding even higher and if this thing goes up even more and tesla stock can actually break and hold 200 that is gonna be even massive and you can see right here we got a rejection close to 200 and now we're getting closer to 200 again and soon as we get over 200 on tesla guys this thing can fly all the way up to 206.77 up to 212 and then we can talk about even more upside on tesla now it's getting a bit frothy and overextended to the upside. You can see upper Bollinger Band sitting close to 192, 191.77. So if there is a pullback in between 191 to 186, as long as the support can hold, that is going to be your dip buying opportunity if this thing comes down before going up to 200 and breaking over 200. So watch out, you know, people that are waiting for breakout retest or maybe even retest this uh, rising 5d moving average 186 that's gonna be a strong support to watch on tesla now on a pullback tesla breaks and holds 200 going up to 206.77 and then 212 on amazon stock it's up 3.90 percent so another massive breakout on a mega cap and the market cap going over two trillion dollars and now it's holding over 190 now we've been talking about it in my channel that amazon breaks and holds 190 that's gonna be a breakout just like microsoft and apple and even google and finally we got that today here on amazon now it's getting a bit frothy overextended so are we going to see some sort of a you know pullback down to maybe 190 188 that is possible so watch out for that and these are going to be strong levels of support now 190 to 188 and then down here at 185 183 and then 180 as long as amazon can stay above i would say 188 to 190 and the support can hold you can play to the upside and this thing can move even higher back up to 195 and then even 200 so amazon another big mega cap stock on a breakout and watch out this thing can move even higher after a pullback down to possibly 190 to 188. And here's my ex account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing here I'm not asking for money or anything it's totally free and you can always ask me a question if you have right here on X and here's a fantastic play we talked about Netflix but look at this one here guys I'm only sharing this one from yesterday Walmart going down to where exactly 67 to 66 yesterday getting those calls and today what happened guys i mean 68 dollar calls pretty much going in the money i mean look at this explosion and this is way too early sold out here at 70 percent this thing went over 140 percent so all these trade ideas and this is just one and i'm talking about netflix that is just two there is more and more trade ideas available on my patreon and especially people that are serious and serious about trading definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon 
on Google stack is absolutely flat on the day. And if you look at my screen, not even getting down to this high right here, 180, not even touching 181.94, rising five day moving average for the second day in a row. I mean, look at how massive this breakout is. You know, not even coming down under lower Bollinger Band, which is sitting at 184. The stock is trading at 185.37. And again, I mean, looks like we got up to another brand new all time high today, almost 186. So here on Google stock, if there is a pullback, only watch for the support right here, 182. And then right down here, 180 and then 178 rising 20 day moving average and this trend line right up here. Now to the upside, as long as Google can hold above 182, this thing can move back up to possibly a brand new all time high and that's gonna be 190. So anything over 185, this thing can move even higher up to 190 and below 185, watch out for 182, 180 and then 178 all the way down to 176. On Meta, it's up half a percent. So Meta, another one that is getting a breakout from this consolidation, from this bull flag. And you can see today again came down to where? Look at this, guys. 503.49. And you guys all know that there is support here around 504 to 505. It was holding. And then from there, this thing took off all the way up to almost 514 and pretty much closing at the high of the day. And looks like it's going up to 520. That is going to be the next stop. And then maybe even brand new all time highs. So Meta here also on the move and this thing breaking out from this bull flag. And now if there is a pullback only down to I would say 503 to 505, these are gonna be buying opportunities on Meta over this flag. But if this thing does not come down, then watch out going all the way up to 520 and then we may get some sort of a pullback. Now below 505 to 503, 13 SMA on this daily time frame, there will be support at 500 and then right down here, 495 and then 490. Under 490, Meta will come down even more down to this gap, 478.89, but it's nowhere near 490. So let's talk about 520 and then possibly even brand new all time highs again, if we can get that breakout over 520 on Meta. On AMD, it's down 1.69% and now with earnings from AMU, it's down another half a percent. So nothing big, but you can see right here it's wedging or you can call this a flag and also holding this trend line right here pretty much exactly at 156 and going back up to 157.54 and now again holding 156 right after closing. So here on AMD guys, I think a big move is coming. Now we need to see just like we saw on Google on Meta and also on other stocks like Tesla, we need to get over 164. It needs to hold 164 and then that is gonna be a breakout here on AMD for more upside. Until then, watch out for this support right down here, guys. This trend line, 155 to 156, lower Bollinger Band and this trend line right here. And if that gives up, watch out, bottom of this flag, that's gonna be around I would say 151.65 and below that 148 and that is gonna be where you know if this thing gets down to 148 it needs to hold otherwise we might be coming down and making a new low and that could be anywhere from 138 to even 125 so amd definitely looks good you know this consolidation but we need breakout confirmation just like you know uh meta google microsoft and all that we need to get over 164 and then you're going to see AMD also breaking out to the upside and possibly going up to 184 and then this gap 188. So far, all you need to watch support here, 155 to 156 and then 148 right down here. Now to the upside, it needs to get over 164. That is the key level. You can see multiple attempts going over 164 but not holding and then pulling back under 164 even this week went up to almost 164, came back. So 164 needs to break on AMD and then we can possibly see more upside easily up to 169 to this upper Bollinger Band, 173 and then 184. On Apple stock, it's up 2%. So Apple, if you look at my screen, we got this bull flag and it was consolidating inside this bull flag. And now that is a breakout over 
210. So it came down to the next support 207 it was holding and then you can see I mean this thing took off again. So is this actually a fake breakout to the upside from this bull flag? Are we going to see Apple actually creating a higher low somewhere here and not actually taking out this high? Because if this thing actually takes out this high right here, 220, it's going to 230s, guys. That is possible from this bull flag breakout. Now, if this is actually a fake breakout and we find some kind of a, a lower high here, then watch out for a new low. And that could be taking out this support below 210 and then taking out 207, this low down here from just a couple days ago. And as soon as that happens, the next support, that's going to be around 203 and then 198 to 200 on Apple. Now, as long as Apple can stay above these moving averages right here, 5 and 13, which is sitting near 210, that is going to be a support to watch if there is a pullback. But if this thing pushes higher, watch out for this breakout over 215. And as soon as that happens, next stop, 220. And over that, like I said, 230 is possible on Apple stock from this breakout, from this uh, bull flag consolidation right here on this daily time frame. On Netflix is up 0.79%. So Netflix, I actually took some calls right here. It was uh, three days ago. I think it was a uh, Monday. And then I actually added more on this dip pretty much exactly at 664 yesterday. And this thing took off today, sold out completely, even though this thing can go up even more. And you can see this dip was bought up with this hammer candle, immediately bought up off of this uh, previous high right here. 664 went back up today, 682. And now look at this guys, it's holding 677. Five day moving average as a support into closing. So as long as 677 can hold this blue line right here, the next stop 692 and then 700, which can come early as this week. As long as this five day moving average can hold right here as a support 677, watch out for 700 on Netflix. Below 677, strong support right here. 664 to 665 now also in line with this rising 13 day moving average and under that level we also have strong support rising 20 day moving average 658 and then we can talk about 630s on netflix until then watch out for a move back up to 692 and then 700 on a microsoft it's up 0 0.27 percent and look at what's happening here on microsoft even though things are getting extremely overbought this thing would not come down anytime soon as a matter of fact look at this dip buying today off of this rising five day moving average this blue line came down to 448 and the dip was immediately bought up right here and then this thing went back up hitting a brand new all-time high and pretty much closing at a brand new all-time high 452 so here on microsoft one thing i want to point out guys even though things are overbought i mean look at this bollinger band on top I mean, it's going straight up, expanded all the way up to almost 462. So if this thing can hold this previous all-time highs, which is holding so far for the second day, 451, this thing can push all the way up to 462. And that's going to be the next stop and a brand new all-time high again on Microsoft. Under 451, you need to look for the support rising 5-day moving average, 449. And then we can talk about a flush down to 443. And under 443, there will be more downside, possibly down to this gap, 433. Until then, as long as Microsoft can hold above, I would say 449 to 451, it's bullish and it's going up to 462. On NVIDIA stock, it's up 0.25%. So NVIDIA was all over the place. Now, I did not cover all these stocks yesterday. There was only one video came out from my channel and that was on DJT. It's kind of hard to make a video on all these stocks in one video. It takes a lot of time and basically, you know, I'm not even getting enough likes on my video and that is why it's kind of a disappointing thing where like, you know, you don't feel it anymore. Like, you know, I, I do all this work and I'm not getting paid for anything. The only thing that I can appreciate is my Patreon group. They're the one who's sponsoring these videos and that's the only way these videos are coming out because YouTube does not pay any money. And I hope you guys get the point because it's really hard to make videos every day for, you know, like something that is totally in the air and you're not really getting enough appreciation, not even enough likes, guys. I mean, there is people watching like 600 to 1000 people watching and then I get like 84 and 100 likes i mean we can definitely do better than that we can go to 500 likes and more likes means what these videos will show up on 
uh, other people's uh, channel or you know people that are searching for these videos but if there is like not enough likes i mean what's the point of putting out videos every day right so i hope you know you guys understand that concept and put out more likes where i can make more content for you guys now nvidia we talked about it before that this is going to be key level we can see another uh, pump on nvidia stock back up to the upside we definitely got that yesterday and then even some follow through today it was up two percent and then it was down two percent from being up this morning i mean it was all over the place but you can see at the end holding this support 126 so 126 can hold we can find a lower high here you know anytime on nvidia anywhere from 130 to 126 but if this thing bakes out over 130 game over and it's going back up to 136 and possibly to a brand new all-time high again and correction this mini correction is over forget about coming down to 107 and this gap down here uh, at 96 so nvidia below 126 watch out for this support right here that's going to be around a 122 to 123 i think that is where this thing was holding today exactly and below that critical support and this will make a new low under 117.85 to the upside right here above 126 this thing can definitely make a move back up to 130 and over 130 it's heading higher back up to 136 and possibly another brand new all-time high and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching